Hello Snackers, this is Kareem Iskander. I'm a lead technical advocate with Cisco Learning and Certifications. Hey everyone, I'm Matt DiNapoli. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco DevNet. Welcome to episode 108 of Snack Minute. <laughs> Snack Minute is your weekly 10 minute bite of learning, coding, and just some cool stuff we'd like you to know. And the cool thing we're gonna to talk to you today about is what's new with Cisco Learning and Certification with our guests, Par Marat, our VP, and Joe Clark, our DSC. Hey. Do you mind introducing yourselves, please? Sure, my name is Par Marat, and I am the Vice President of Learning and Certifications. It's great to be here. I'm Joe Clark. I'm a distinguished engineer at Learning and Certifications Org. Just celebrating my 25th anniversary. Oh, today. yeah! Congratulations. And I'm also very happy to be here and talk to you about some exciting new things we have in our Learning and Certification area. So we're here at Cisco Live 2023, right? Yes. In last check. And um, last year we like talked about Cisco U as almost like a concept. That's right. What has happened in that year? So much has happened in this year, and we are thrilled to have our GA release as of May 24th yes. this year. Uh, that means it's available to everyone. So at Amsterdam Cisco Live, we introduced our early access. And again, what Cisco U is all about is a personalized AI ML driven approach to learning. It's a new experience. And we really took a lot of time to build it around guidance, community, and depth. And so we took the time with our early access to make sure that we were rolling it out in a way where we were listening to the community feedback. And I, and I think based on the, uh, the early approach, the early feedback, we, we really achieved what we are setting out to do with, with this release. In a previous episode, I got to poke around right after you guys went general availability, uh, general availability, and I was blown away by the experience. The pre-assessments I thought were a genius move. Um, it definitely uh, it sets the learner up for a situation where their their experience is tailored. I thought that was brilliant. Um, and every you know all the checkpoints along the way. I mean, it's really good because it's for at least in the things that I saw, um, it's it's helping the learner determine whether or not they understood what they were trying to learn, yeah. which is yeah. great. I think and you meant the onboarding survey, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to call me dumb in every other <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, um, you know, we, we also include the adjacent technology needed for our community uh -huh. oh, to right. be successful on Cisco Solutions, because as, as we talked in Amsterdam, it is such a vast, broad set of skills that are needed yeah. in and today's world. Ever more. Absolutely. And and our community is so important to Cisco's success. And so we're so happy to be able to provide not only Cisco UGA, where we were able to train and provide a personalized experience, but in the last year we have also released blueprints for our exams. This allows our learners that are trying to achieve or recertify much more predictability and how they have to train, what they have to learn, and that time to train. And then lastly, the big ta-da, we heard loud and clear that our learners really wanted more information around cloud. Oh, wow. And so I am really thrilled to announce this year, so we rolled out Cisco U, we did the roadmaps, and now we've added cloud-centric certifications oh, to our portfolio. Wow. So Very nice. Just yep. super excited about it all. So tell us, Joe, do you mind telling us sure. a little bit about the, the yeah. cloud certification? So certification can't rest. Uh, we we, we uh, have these levels of certification, but if we didn't refresh the content, if we weren't looking at what the skills are that are relevant for our users, certification would languish. So like Par said, we looked at what do our learners need? What are the employers need that our individuals need to assert? These are the skills I have to be relevant in today's workforce. Cloud came up kind of front and center. So we started to roll out uh, cloud certifications in our various tracks. And the first one was enterprise. Yes. And we're not necessarily an infrastructure as code or infrastructure as a service player per se. We're not doing like, we're not a public cloud provider, but what we do is connect our people, their data centers to the cloud, to various public clouds, integrating all that user experience together. And more importantly, or most importantly, perhaps making it secure. And that's what this at first certification does. It's about creating that connectivity, making sure we understand the paradigms involved with 
on-prem and hybrid cloud connectivity, public cloud connectivity, and then how do we use Cisco technology to connect to that, to establish the plumbing and secure all of that connectivity. From there, we moved into hardcore security in the cloud. If I, as Joe Clark, am accessing like Office 365 from here at Cisco Live or from my home office or from the Cisco campus, how do I ensure that that experience is the same? All the policies are the same, and how do we know that the experts or the, the, the professionals setting that up have the skills needed to install those policies, to recommend those approaches uh, to their employers, to their organizations? That's what that second cert helps to establish. And then finally, the latest one we announced is around cloud infrastructure. So imagine if you're a large enterprise and you're saying, you know what, it's time that we give our people cloud. It's time that we create a cloud for our own uh, organization or we want to be act like the, a service provider for our organization. It's about what are the skills needed? How do I assert that I have them to set up that infrastructure, to think in those cloud hyperscaling dynamics automate all of that, make sure that I have analytics and insights into what's going on so that I can provide a cloud-rich environment to my constituents and my employees or, or my customers. That's awesome. It's fantastic. Joe, I wanted to ask you, so obviously we have blueprints out there for yep. snackers and everybody watching this to go check them out, but for, let's touch a little bit on the Cloud Connect portion mm -hmm. and we go a little bit deeper on, the, on that blueprint. What are some of the topics that I'm expected to understand and know for the Cloud Connect? So, there, the first two domains are around architecture. So do you understand what some of these cloud paradigms are in terms of uh, how do I, what is the best approach? Do I do IPsec natively to the cloud provider? Do I have to think about, well, given the business requirements, maybe I'm going to spin up a Catalyst uh, EKV in the cloud and do an SD-WAN type of architecture? So there's some of that. Then it gets down into the, what is the best paradigm to provide seamless connectivity regardless of whether or not I'm at the headquarters, I'm on the road, I'm in a branch office. There we start to bring in the SASE type of mentalities nice. and the SSC, the secure service edge type of mentalities to cloud. That carries over into the security with things like XDR, being able to, to, to do the, the, the defense response in depth. Uh, and for being able to extend that service edge, thinking about how do we secure, how do we create that holistic policy that secures that user experience. It was a really exciting that you guys are bringing this up because I always felt like, not just through our certification program, but a lot of the content that we put out through DevNet and, and other areas, that we kind of struggle because a lot of the stuff that we do uh, tends to stay on premises. Right. Yep. And we didn't really have a path into saying, yeah. this is how we interact with cloud. We know that we work in that space and that yes. uh, applications are run in hybrid manners and yep. uh, we have the security concepts that we have to worry about across those across those areas. And so um, being able to tie all of that into a certification practice is, 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 is amazing to me. I, that's why I'm so excited to hear about it because I personally have always had a challenge in being able to talk about it um, intelligently because we kind of stopped it at one, at one point and now we're, now we're it's, it's so exciting to hear that we're going to envelop all of it and, and make it available. We are absolutely critical to a secure cloud infrastructure yeah. and no one does it better than us because we've had all of that experience with yeah. infrastructure for 30 years on-prem. Yeah. Now we can say we know how to make that cloud experience as secure, as robust as you need it and we can work with all of these public cloud providers and we can help you connect your own cloud to that same infrastructure. And that's a, that's a key, because we, we don't have a bias. We're, we're the honest exactly. broker, yeah. if you will. Right. So yeah. we have the expertise, we have the knowledge, and it, irrespective of if you have one cloud provider or multiple cloud providers, Cisco and Cisco certifications provide the skills to do that securely. That's yeah, awesome. and this is where you know all of our solutions are been playing and what we've been talking about for with Cisco for years, with DevNet and, yeah. and beyond, right? Um, so. We know new certifications. If I'm interested in taking these certifications, they are coming in the future, right? They're because coming we're... very shortly. The blueprints are out. Um, you can come over to the, the learning booth. You can go to the uh, uh, learning and certification site and you'll see the blueprints and you can start prepping for it now. We're going to be rolling out training for these certifications into Cisco U so people can come to Cisco U, take that training, earn continuing education credit. So the certifications will assert you have the skills. 
the training will help you build those skills and you can keep your certifications fresh as you go. And, and so do that one thing before we wrap up, uh, you know, Par or Joe, where does this certification sit? So is what are my prerequisites? Do I need to take something before? That's is this an question. entry level? Obviously not an entry level, but yeah. These are at the professional level. There okay. is no prerequisite. They are concentrations. They contribute towards your uh, CCMP enterprise, the first one, the cloud connectivity, or your CCMP security. That's the second one. That's securing uh, uh, applications, endpoints, and users. And then the final one is CCMP service provider. That's building that, that large, robust cloud infrastructure. So they sit right there, no prerequisites. This is exciting. I'm super so. excited to say that. I know what I'm going to be reading on the beach this Yeah, summer. totally. <laughs> um, thank you guys for joining us. Sure. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have. I think the snackers are going to be really excited about these new certifications, the new experience with Cisco U, and you know, just all of the great things to come. So thank you guys well, for, thank for you sharing so much. Yeah. Thank you. All right, thank you, snackers. We'll see you next week.